What is your why to why you drink alcohol? My why was because I thought that that was the only way of life. I, my why was I can just work off the alcohol. I can eat better and still drink. My why was things weren't fun without alcohol. My why was life was boring. I mean, all the whys. Why do you drink? Why, what is your reasoning for why you think that you need to keep drinking in life? Is it because you're a miserable, miserable person? Is it because you know no other thing? You grew up with it and that's the only way of life that you know? Because I mean, that was kind of my why. That's all I knew. But my why now is my health is better. My why is my children. My why is my life. My why is I am a better human without putting alcohol in my body. And my why is longevity, being a better mom, being a better wife, being a better friend. And I can say friend because I've met some amazing friends through my journey that also don't drink. And I mean, all I can do is just sit here and keep inspiring others to understand their why. Why do you need to have a drink every time you come home from work? Why do you have to drink the six pack? Why do you have to drink the bottle of whiskey? Why do you have to have wine with dinner? Or why do moms think that we have to drink to deal with our children? That is the biggest misconception that I've ever been brainwashed into believing. I drink because chaos. I drink, but I was creating my own chaos. But now I'm more present with my children. I can be more active with them. They enjoy me better because they don't see me fighting with dad. They don't see me wrecking myself. My why to why I drank all those years was because of society. Because I was brainwashed in to thinking that that is the only thing that, I, I thought I was the cool one. Oh, Megan can ha hang with the boys. She can pound those IPAs, no other. She can take shots of whiskey, champ. Oh, look at her, how quick she can beer bong. It was cool, I thought it was the cool thing. I was the cool girl, but you know what? I quit drinking and I realized that I'm still cool without drinking. I can still be a goofball. I can still be energetic. Yes, was it hard at first realizing all these things and learning a whole new way of life without alcohol, but the same way of life? Think about it. You're still living your life. You're just not masking it anymore. And so many people's why to alcohol is my childhood was terrible. This happened to me, that happened to me. My job sucks and nobody likes me. I'm a loner. I just, I don't fit in with anybody. So that's your why? Why don't you quit drinking and fix your problems? Why don't you quit masking all your issues and let go of alcohol and work on these things that have been holding you back? Your why to drinking, would you would realize, was self-pity. Why did I drink? Because I was throwing a pity party for myself all the damn time. I knew no better. But now, when you quit drinking and you look back and you're like, wow, my why now being sober is life life in general, my children's life, my family's life, my life, my health life, my happy life, and just healing from these things that we want, that I wanted to mask personally, they were never gonna get healed. There was never going to be any heal, healing done with alcohol still involved in my life. I, during potty training, my why to drinking a Kirkland sized bottle of red wine was because potty training sucked. Well, now thinking back, would it have actually not been as bad if I wasn't drinking? I don't know, <laughs> maybe you can answer me that. Why are you sober now? And if you haven't quit drinking, why? Why do you feel you have to keep drinking in this life? Do you think you're a better person? Cause you're not. Do you think that that's the only way of life? Well, it's not, I'm proof. I can go to concerts now, I can go to dinner, I can go to lunches, I can, you know, engage with my friends, I can go to birthday parties now, I can, I can leave sober and not have to, that's another big why being sober is amazing, is because I can get in my car and drive 
and not worry about getting pulled over or hurting somebody or hurting myself. So many people choose to drink and drive. I've been to so many events and now that I'm sober and I see these drunkards stumbling out of, their con out of these concerts and getting in their car, we live in a sick, sick society. Why are we allowed to drink and drive? Why are, why are you allowed to get in a car and risk somebody's life? Because you know, more than likely, it's not the driver, the drunk driver that dies. It's always the passenger or the car that you hit or the pedestrian that you hit or the biker that you hit. It's never, hardly ever. And I know, I've known so many people that have been in drunk driving accidents and my babysitter, had she was in a drinking and driving accident and she wore a halo for I don't know how long because she broke her neck. One of my friend's cousins was drinking and driving and well he he died but so did the other ones and just it is so sad. You will hear way too often that these people caused this accident and they survived because their why was well I gotta drink enough to numb all these feelings and have so-called fun, but then get behind the wheel and risk somebody's life. Why do people do that? Why do you do that? I mean, when I was in my younger 20s, I'm not gonna lie, I was stupid. There was probably times that I shouldn't have drove, but then you see it just happen too many times. It can ruin your life. It can take away your license. It can put you in prison. It can change your whole entire life. You hated that job, so you drank. Well, now you don't have that job because you're in jail. I don't know, weigh the options. When people use the why I drink because it's who I am, it's boring without it, I don't know how to deal with my problems, I hate my job, I had a horrible life, this and that, well guess what? You're gonna die miserable. With it, Alcohol is going to kill you. It's gonna give you cancer, liver issues. More than, you're probably overweight because you drink too much but you will never be able to experience life sober because your why is all the excuses not to let go of alcohol. Think of the whys of being sober. I can come to my kids' football games, volleyball games, soccer games. I can come to my grandkids' functions, their Christmas parties and Christmas programs and their games. I don't have to sit at home because I just wanna drink. Parents can actually get to their kids' things on time because they're not at the bar with their friends. I mean, parents and grandparents are such a huge part of children's lives. Why do you want to waste time drinking your life away while your grandchildren or children are growing up right in front of you and you cannot fully partake in their life. How unfair is that to them? That's not unfair to you, because you're the one choosing it. I absolutely cannot handle. There are so many times that when I was in high school playing games, parents wouldn't show up because they were drunk. The, and you know, that's not fair. Your child is only a child for so long. So your biggest why should be your child or your grandchild, and you should do better for them in yourself and realize that these little humans, they look up to us. They follow in our footsteps, whether you think so or not. Emma, I can imagine she won't drink. She hates alcohol and she says she'll never drink. And I can, I can see that in her. And I'm glad that we chose to quit drinking when we did so we can still keep walking that path of being sober and having her look up to us in a sober fashion. Colton, he always thought it was fun. And I wanna taste it, I wanna, I wanna beer, joking and stuff, and it's, oh boy, they literally are watching you. So now that we don't drink, he's, well, my mommy and daddy don't drink. Yes, you're right, we don't drink. But he knows who does drink, and he always says, well, that's unhealthy. Why do they do that? You and daddy are healthy, and that's the sad thing. It's, these children, I have a lot of moms that follow me and dads and you all reach out to me and say that you wanna do better for your family. And a lot of you have, a lot of you have. And I see grandparents reaching out to me saying that they get to now spend time with their grandkids more than they ever have and making up for lost time that, you know, 
There's been people that have drank for 40 years. <laughs> Somebody brought up a good point. That's a mortgage. You literally drank the length of your mortgage away. Think of that, sick, that's sick. I mean, my 20 years, all that money I could have saved, all those, all those careers that I could have advanced in. But you know what? My why is my kids, I feel better in general. I want my kids to be healthy. I don't want them to do what I did. Yes, are they going to probably do stupid things? Yes, I'm not that naive. But I can give them a different way of life. They want to work out because I work out. It's another big why to being healthy. They want to drink water because I drink water. They want to eat right. So if you're consuming drugs and alcohol, your kids are watching you. And me as a mom, I want to protect my kids. So my why is them. My biggest why of all will always forever be being healthier and getting sober for my children. So I can fully be in their life. I'm not gonna be like, oh crap, got a drink around their schedule or no, I'm not gonna go because I'm gonna drink. I mean, I used to do that and now I don't. And now I think it's when people do. Why are you choosing alcohol over kids or grandkids? I don't get it. And just seeing my pictures of my children from the other day, from last year to this year, they're growing so fast. So again, tell me what your why is for quitting drinking and tell me what your why is for why you don't wanna quit drinking.